screen. Beautiful. All right, cool. What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of From Pennies to Power. We show the true potential of the cardboard pennies we like to purchase. Got some new peeps, returning peeps, the whole nine yards. You know how it's going to be. We should have jumped right into the games because I've been at work all day and I want to play some magic and get some fun with it. I got some fun things all around. So, we're going to jump right into it itself. We're going to start with Steel City Steph on my right. How are we doing over here? What we got? Hi, I'm doing great. I am. Um, I'm Steel City Steph. I, uh, you can find me most places on the internet under the moniker Steel City Steph. Um, I, uh, yeah, I have, I have not been on this channel before. So, thanks so much for having me, Chris. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, yeah, so tonight I want to play Silvar, Devourer of the Free. Uh, this is a black-red partnerless deck. Um, it is basically a human typal deck, and we're going to try to play a bunch of humans, make a bunch of human tokens, feed them to the giant crazy. cat nightmare, the and then swing oh, for some uh, swing for some big hits. So, uh, so yeah, that's the game plan. Um, I will go ahead and share in chat. I don't know if your permissions allow this, but I'll share in chat yeah, where you can find you Brad and I. Um, and uh, yeah. I'm excited to see how the, the single non-pairing partner style is going to play out. Oh, I've got another deck. It's it's Shabraz humans. And I've seen it's, I've it's seen I've seen this. Oh, I've seen your Shabraz on another channel, which is pretty awesome. I saw that one. Yeah, it, it works. Yeah, it, works. it works. So very I'm hoping well. this one will too. This is going to be it's it's maiden voyage, so we're going to see how how it goes. I am excited. All right, and Albarbas. Well, my, my name is Miguel. You can call me Albarbas. Uh, you can find me as Albarbas MTG on Twitter and YouTube. Mostly doing silly stuff and nonsense and everything involving commander and uh, type of things, especially goblins and uh, you know silly stuff in general. And uh, thanks so much for having me again. It's a blast to be here. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an honor to be playing against Steel City Steph and Steel City Brad as well. So I'm going to play this little joy of life, this Dina Soul Stipa. We're going to do some life gain, life drain shenanigans and, uh, you know, just having fun, uh, doing Bulgari stuff. Oh yeah. I love Dina. It's one of my favorites it really is. Sounds good. A lot of incidents, a little damage that adds up real, real quick. All right, and then we got over to Brad. Hi, I'm uh, Steel City Brad. Um, you can find me uh, in most places on the internet uh, at Steel City Brad. <laughs> Steph shared our link trees in the chat, I suppose. Um, and yeah, there's not really much more to say about what I do on the internet because I kind of <laughs> do the same thing as Steph. But tonight I am playing Tuvasa the Sunlit. This is... Uh, a Bant Enchantments deck, um, but I the goal is to try to win with Dance of the Mans. So Ooh, fingers crossed, okay. I can find that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see that one now. I always prefer the Tuvasa Enchantress style base. I think the Bants got way better than the uh, the new one they just printed out with the Abzan. I think it just like that splash of blue really just like tweaks it to where it yeah. needs to be. All right, and then for myself, I am playing Osgir the Reconstructor. I'm more so just trying to get as many like as much mana as possible by bringing back a bunch of mana rocks and doubling them up so i can get more mana and then try to blow up the entire board with like a jaya's emulating glare flare and basically just do one giant fireball to everything it is one of those decks where i built forever ever ago and i had one turn that just took a very long time so i was like eh, i don't know about this <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of those decks where i'm like i don't want to keep it but i don't want to break it up <laughs> that's fair that's fair that's yep. fair all right, so that is our order. So, Barbara, whenever you are ready, you can start us off. Starting up so, gonna play uh, Lotus Petal, if it's okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nice. I will crack my Lotus Petal for green, adding a black, and I will cast Dina. What a flex yeah, for the man. starting turn. Big, big flex. But it's, it's, uh, it's even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and the opal. We got the oh, little yeah. over All here. Right. So, Mox Amber. We'll tap for green, and then we'll play uh, Birds of Paradise, and I pass turn. Jeez, all Barbara, right. Wait, wait, is that all we're doing over there, <laughs> And it's, it's been my my best turn ever, I think. <laughs> yep. Wow. Okay. Um. All right. So I will play a uh, mountain, and I'm going to pass. Yep. <laughs> all right. I will draw for turn. Let's do a Temple of Enlightenment. I will scry. Um... Yeah, we'll put that on the bottom, and I'll be done. All right, I will draw. We'll do a planes, and just to save time, I'm gonna uh, enlighten tutor right now. Um, if someone decides to mill me, it's gonna stay on the top. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass the turn though. All on top. 
Probably just gonna be a soul when you're gonna I'll draw sleep. for my turn. I'll play a swamp. Uh, let's see. I'll play uh, the hunger tide. Does it resolve? Uh, I don't think it kind of spells. No, yeah, you're golden. Okay, okay, that it's gonna be uh, a plus one, and I will create oh, yes. uh, one one black and green insects. I will have to mill a card, and if an insect, uh -huh, okay, it's gonna be my token, and I will mill one, not an insect, so I won't put any loads into it, and uh, I will pass turn. All right, I will draw. I'm gonna play a Dragon Skull Summit. I will pay two to cast Jury, Master of the Review. Very All right. Jury. It's a nice one. <laughs> Halo foil. Um, I will pass the turn. All right. We'll untap and draw. Um, hmm. uh, I will play this forest and enchant it with a Utopia Sprawl. I will and pass. Okay. I will draw the Arcane Signet. I will do a power plant and I will play the Signet. And I will tap it for one for an Altar of the Brood. Whenever a permanent enters the battlefield, mm -hmm. my, uh, my library, oh my god, my, my battlefield. Um, then everyone mills a card. <laughs> uh, and I'll pass the turn after that. Go on tap. I'll draw. I'll play a Twilight Mire. And uh, let's see. We're gonna do again the thing with Chris. So it'll go to five. This is gonna be my second thingy. I will mill. There is no insect. So it'll stay at five. And I will pay green green using the ability for a silver library okay. and uh, i'll start the hostilities <laughs> with one of these uh little one ones that will go to um i don't know uh chris as usual yep <laughs> i was like it's gonna be me come on <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll take the one. you already knew that <laughs> yeah come on and uh, i'm gonna pass the turn okay i'm gonna draw i will play a swamp I will pay three for the Zathrid Necromancer. This is a 2 2. Whenever it or another human I control dies, put a 2 2 zombie onto the battlefield. Um, I'm just going to hold back and I will pass the turn. All right. Every time I look at Brad's board, I just feel like he's taking a bath with the squid. <laughs> I mean, he like, is. That's like part he, of the that's reason why the green see. screen's set up the way that it is, yep. so that you can't see. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> how's with the bubbles? Secret. <laughs> Privacy matters, you know. All right. For three, I will cast Tuvasa, and I will play this Celestia Sanctuary as my land for turn, returning the temple, and I'll pass. All right, so I'm tapping out draw. I'll tap for a red, and I will do a Faithful Saluting. Draw two cards, discard two cards. One and two. Discarding Doretti, and... I'll do a track for treasure. Uh, I will play a land for turn. The mountain. Everybody everyone, mills one? Everyone mills one, correct. I will tap for three. I'll play Seize the Spoils. Mm -hmm. I will discard Foundry Inspector. Sure. And I will draw two and make a treasure. And when the treasure enters, we mill again. Yeah? Bingo. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, Citadel. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> That's a nice mill. Yep. yep. I will pass after that. Though. So I will untap. I will untap this thingy as well. Uh, let's see. I'll pay one and two green for eternal witness. Oh, There's well. <laughs> and I will return Bola Citadel. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Fair choice. Uh, it's gonna be six here. Did you just keep the one card from your Sylvan library? Uh, no, I I missed the trigger actually. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 that's gonna be it. Uh, pass the turn. Okay, I will untap and draw. Oh, I think this is gonna be useful starting like right now. So, I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna uh, play an oversold cemetery. At the nice. beginning of my upkeep, if I have four or more creatures in my graveyard, I can return target creature from my graveyard to my hand. Uh, and then I will pay two to cast Sword of the Animus. I am gonna pass the turn. All right. I'll oh, and draw. Me too. Drew Tucker did a good job on that one. The full art of it is actually really cool too. Like it's difficult to see behind the text box, but yeah. the full picture is really cool. I got the OG version, but it's nice in this. This new one is so pretty anyway. So yeah, he he did a, he did a good job. <laughs> For four, I will play this Hallowed Haunting. Um, mm -hmm which is the first enchantment spell I've cast this turn, so I will draw a card. Uh, but Hell of Hunting says, when I cast an enchantment, I get a spirit whose power and toughness are each equal to the number of spirits I control. 
And then if I have seven or more enchantments, my creatures have flying or flying and vigilance. And that is it. I'll pass. Untap and draw. Uh, command tower, everyone mills one. We'll tap two for a talisman of conviction. Everyone will mill one. And then I'll tap four for Osgear, my commander. And then everyone will mill one. I will just pass the turn at that point. I will untap. This will trigger. So I will look at three. I will return them this way and will pick my one for the turn and one additional. So I will take four. What's four at this stage of the game now? So yeah, still early enough. I will play Nurturing Peakland. And I will pay five. For the Bola Citadel. Yikes. There it is. Don't love that. And I will look like I, I didn't know what's going to be. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will pass the turn. Okay. I won't even activate this one. All right. I will. Well, I, I, I hit with it, yeah. I only have three creatures right now, so Oversold Cemetery does not happen. That is okay. Um, I'm going to pay two. I'm going to equip the Sword of the Animist to the Zathrid Necromancer. Um... You are more than welcome to swing at me if you need to to get so we can get some interaction. Pay one. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll pay one for the unlucky witness. Whenever it dies, mm -hmm. I still have two cards in my library and I can play them until the until my next end step. Um yeah, so combat. Um Barbas, your creatures, the stats of your creatures. Dina is a one three. You have two Dina one is one, one three. Uh, correct. I have uh one three, Dina, two one, eternal witness, and two one ones. From, I think uh, I'm okay with all of these trades if you decide to block. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack you with a 3-3 three, three Zathrid Necromancer. If it dies, I get a zombie. 3-3. Uh, three, three. And when I attack, I get a swamp. Okay, so you, you'll you get your swampy and I will block with my Eternal Witness. Sounds good. Goodbye, Eternal Witness. Bye-bye. Good job. All right. I will pass the turn. All right. Let's untap. No upkeep, so we'll draw. Start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's probably not a better way to do this. So for three, I will cast this Grasp of Fate. Mm. Uh, it's the first enchantment I've cast this turn, so I will draw a card, and I will also get a Spirit Cleric, thanks to Hallowed Haunting. It's a very cute Spirit That's Cleric. That's adorable. <laughs> you should take a picture of that for Megan, I think. Yep. Yes. I think you need to. <laughs> all right uh when it enters i would like to target uh altar of the brood bolus's citadel and sword of the animus use me that's fine uh, okay yeah. bye. uh that's fine i'll let it go into there all what right does, what does he do with uh, it English? is exiled until grasp of fate leaves the battlefield yes all righty oh, i will exile it uh, i don't even know where to exile it i would say like put it upside down here okay that's why I, how I do it. Yeah, just like, there you go. Okay. All right. Um, I will go to combat. I have one, two, three, four. Tuvasa is a four, four. Let's go at Grist for four. I'll block with one of the okay. thingies. Um, and then I think, I think that's all. No, I'm going to do this. I'm going to cast Enchantress's Presence. When I cast an enchantment, I draw a card, mm. which will get me a second spirit cleric and i will pass the turn untap and draw i'm going to because it's got vigilance i'm just going to swing osgear over at grist to four four so it's just going over at grist barbus with four four bar, uh by four four commander i will block yep with cousin kenobi <laughs> <laughs> uh move to second main phase i will a three and i will activate osgear for three and I'm going to bring back Foundry Inspector, and I'm going to bring back two of them. Cool. So I have two of those. So artifacts cost two less to cast. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to do an expedition map for zero. <laughs> for minus one, actually, right? No, because I have two of them. The way Osgur works is it, it makes two copies. Yeah, but I mean, if, it, if, if artifacts cost less, one less to cast, yeah, so it's it negative one. Um, <laughs> so, so someone owes you a mana. Technically. Uh, I'm going to crack my treasure. Jerry's got to go up one. Mm -hmm. so I'm sacrificing. So it's for two mana. I'm going to No, cast... it's whenever I sacrifice it. Oh, I thought it was any, anybody. Yeah, no. uh, I cast Mystic Forge. 
He's an uncommon. He's he's not he's not quite there. I can play artifacts top of my library. If I pay one and tap it, I can exile the top card. Off the top. Hey, Lotto. Thanks for tuning in. For zero, chromatic star. Damn it, I don't want to exile that. Uh, all right, I will pay one and cycle the chromatic star. I'm going to add red to my mana pool. I have one red. That for a second. I will draw a card. Uh, I should have got white. Son of a beehive. Um, <laughs> I will pay one and put this in exile. It's an Archaeomancer's map. That's why I should have done white. I will take with the one life off of that. Top card. Can't do that. Um, the white is going to then fizzle out and I will pass the turn. Oh, we're on top. Two long library. It's going to trigger. I will look at three. Mm. Uh, Take it like that. I pick my one for the turn, and I will take four for another one. I will pay black and green for with the blue, my princess. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. That is a card, yes, indeed. But the thing is, will it be enough <laughs> with the chain of smog? Oh, you bastard, you had it. <laughs> I drew, I drew, actually drew the chain of smog. Right now, I had the Wither Bloom Apprentice in my hand already. Yeah, Does got, it resolve? I got no responses. I got nothing. Mm -mm. So, then I will make the loop. I will target myself. So we all lose and Each one, each time I target myself, I will gain yep. one and you lose two. All right. One, yep. one because of the Wither Bloom <laughs> and two because of the Dina. And yay! All right, that Barbara sounds Zero. right. You got it. That's, that's <laughs> awesome because it, this, this is my first time playing this deck. Okay, oh, all right. Yeah, well, he, was, you was, he was very excited was, to play it. I, <laughs> yes, yes. I, I, I usually play a Ragdos. Ragdos stuff like uh, Yuri herself and, uh, you know, Grenzo and all that stuff. Uh, Ragdos, sure. the, the demon uh -huh. itself. I love this combination of colors, but I, I wanted to, to try this stuff, these Golgari shenanigans. That's uh, how I called it. And, uh, you did shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did quite a bit, but uh, hey. Uh, the beginner's luck, they call it. <laughs> Brad, do you have a Rakdos deck too, so we can do a four-player Rakdos pod? Um, yeah, I'd have to go upstairs to get it, but I've got one. Barbara, should we pull playing your jury? Uh, uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, we'll do a four-player uh, Rakdos pod, then, that we can uh, step change. in use the Silvar still. Oh, goodness. Let That's going to be uh... very fast. <laughs> 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 All right, we can make that happen. That's fine. Let me then change some things here that I need for the Ragdos deck. We will take a quick five-minute break. We'll be back at 8.02 Eastern time. So be right back, everyone.